I'm in the house and it's actually the next morning because I came in and I was kind of spooked out. Spooked out? It was kind of freaky in here. Um, so I just like went to bed and shut the door. <laughs> and now it's breakfast time and I'm Zooming with Chloe because it's all we ever do. And I have my little lady down here. Where is she? Even though her bed is there. We went for a beautiful walk this morning and I didn't vlog it because my camera was broken, but I fixed it now. So we're on track, it's Friday. Let's enjoy the day. I am working today, but I do have a really cute little view. Anyway, have you ever seen anything as beautiful as this cupcake? Not recently. <laughs> Man, that looks so good. I know. Is, but that, is that that weird seafoam icing? No, it's buttermilk icing. Whoa. And I ate one last night before bed. I had a huge headache because you know when you eat a lot of sugar? Yeah. But I don't care because I'm eating another one. Yeah. It's worth it. It's actually it's worth, worth it. It's worth a migraine. With a cup of tea? Wow. Oh, living the life and I'm going to eat some oatmeal. Nice. I don't have what everybody else has where they eat oatmeal and they get full. I eat it and I'm like literally starving after. Yeah, no, I get full for about 45 minutes and then, and I'm not even going to say full. I don't get full. But yeah, like you know, nobody's out here getting full from oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to, do you want to watch me take the first bite? Of course. <laughs> Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. It's five o'clock and I really wanted to take Effie for a really nice walk before it gets too dark out. So I'm gonna grab all of my stuff and we're gonna go. Okay, this is where I'm staying. And it's a really amazing little street. Come on, Effie. And then there's this amazing thatched cottage here and this beautiful big church. It's so peaceful. I absolutely love coming to the Cotswolds, especially when it's just us two. There are these tiny little white flowers. They're so sweet. And the birds are chirping. It's giving me hope. When I was walking Effie this morning, I came across this public footpath. And we really loved it. Okay, go. She's just so happy when there's nothing around but a beautiful sunset. Bliss. Because Effie is a very special lady, she needs a lot of what they call decompression walks and decompression time. And honestly, I need it too because I am always like thinking and overthinking and Sometimes when you just get in nature, well, every time, um, it just helps. Helps me a lot mentally. It just helps my mental state and helps me process. And I think so often we're just like running from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. And to take the time to just be by yourself in your own company is so lovely. Like. I love it. I'm only here from Thursday to Sunday morning and that is just not enough time. Like really, I would need a week to really get into things. Um, but that unfortunately can't always happen. Don't know if we can go this way. Okay, lady, we're gonna go this way. They always say you get the dog you need. I didn't think I needed a dog like Effie that was gonna be so much work, but she's really ended up being the most perfect dog for me because she forces me to like take these trips and come into nature a lot more often than maybe I would have done if I did have a dog that could go to like the pub and be outside with people all the time. It just forces me to just come out here and be one with myself. My friends are always like, don't you get bored? I'm like, no, I do not. <laughs> Since I last saw you, We've run into some barbed wire, some mud. I fell, 
Oh my goodness, but kind of worth it because we have this amazing sunset. This is not doing it justice at all. It is so beautiful. Miss Lady, don't get lost. Don't get lost. Oh, it's so pretty. We ran into some trouble and I don't think wearing my beautiful Genny coat was necessarily the best decision I've ever, oh my God. She just has to walk through every single puddle. Do you know how hard it is to clean her little feet? Oh my God, it literally looks like she's wearing boots. Effie, let me see your paws. What are you? Oh my God, are you happy? <laughs> Comrook, Combroke, that's where we are, darling. I think that's where we're staying. Whenever people are like, where are you staying? I'm like, in the Cotswolds somewhere. <laughs> I don't understand geography very well. I just pick a place that I think looks interesting and go and just discover. I don't even really plan that much. But if this is your sign from the universe to plan a solo trip into the wilderness, then I say do it. It's paw washing time, obviously. She just stands there like a little perfect being. <laughs> it's that magical time. Wine time. And I brought this canned wine with me because it's like single serving. And it's in a can. I posted this on my Instagram stories a while ago. It opens like this. And I thought it was amazing. So look white wine in a can, the red wine. This is like a multi-pack. If you're someone who loves wine, I really recommend trying Defy. It's so good and I love that it's a single serving. It tastes really good and I love wine. And I'm gonna drink, and I'm gonna drink a little can of this cause it's Friday night and the feeling's right. Oh yes, it's ladies night. Oh what, oh what a night. Effie's like, Mom, I'm scared. <laughs> you know I don't cook, but I wanted to get myself a fancy little meal. <laughs> and I got a beautiful piece of steak from Waitrose, and this is half of it that I'm cooking here. And then I have some green beans, and there's no microwave, but I bought some microwavable mashed potatoes because, uh, hello. And so I'm just heating them up on the stove here. And I'm gonna eat it, and I'm, I've already got the glass of wine poured. Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm watching this show on Netflix called The Let Down. It's really, really good, I love it. I think it's really super funny, so that's what I'm doing. I am a chef, Bernays sauce, OMG, Effie, this is how Mommy stays happy. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is self-care right here. You know what? I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more of that can of wine in my glass. And I'm gonna, oh yeah. And then I'm gonna sit here and watch my show. Cheers to you, cheers to me. Mmm. Yes. I'm gonna drink water. Very important to hydrate. After I have this beautiful, beautiful meal, I'm gonna digest, I'm gonna do the dishes, and then I'm gonna have a bath and moisturize head to toe. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna call my mom and tell her I'm drunk. Let me see, mom. I'm not drunk. Drunk. I'm drunk. Great. Good to know. Stay strong, Mom. Learn. This is drunk to stay. Grandma, I'm yeah. drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really. I'm actually just joking. So uh, I assume everything's going good. I think I might start drinking soon. You know, I don't advocate it, but sometimes it just takes the edge off. One glass, one, two glass maximum. 
Well, I just said that to my friend Jan because she's a big wino. I said I would just love to finish work and, and start drinking wine. Oh. Everybody else. Oh yeah. I mean, the clock strikes five, and it's time. But do you get a do you get a headache from it? Not if I only drink one glass, one or two glasses. No hangover whatsoever? No, in fact, I feel better than ever. Maybe I should just try to get one down. Yeah. It can't hurt. <laughs> I really should get a tripod, considering I've been vlogging for about 10 years. <laughs> but right now, you're resting on a bar of soap, a candle. Actually, I need to get another candle. That would help things. Okay, let's get the bar of soap back involved. Ha! Oh. Right. It's Saturday. And I was just dancing to some music, had a shower. I thought I would go through my skincare routine with you. We are going to use my Oskia Floral Essence. I absolutely love this essence. There's something about it that's just better than all other essences. I also love the scent and I find it really calming. It's a beautiful day outside. Oh, there goes my towel, I'm just gonna show you. This is my view. Beautiful little cod, I mean, come on. Come on, and this is what you're currently sitting on. The SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier, I love this serum. And it's like this really nice, like ready color. With my old age, I'm just noticing my skin is so dehydrated. This is like a hyaluronic serum intensified. It's, I honestly think it is so good. This is the MZ Skin Eye Cream. I really love MZ Skin products. As you can see, I've used a lot of this. I just take a bit on my finger. I always find with eye creams, it's useful to like rub it in between your hands and warm it up a little bit. I also always take my eye cream up here. I always try to like push kind of firmly here and then obviously lightly here. I know you're supposed to tap it, but I just don't have time to tap. <laughs> I do not have time to tap. I still love my MZ Skin Therapy Rose Soothing and Protective Moisturizer. I have used that brand for so long. It's still one of my tried, tested, and trues. And I really try to take a bit of time in the morning to like massage as much as I can. I try to like hook my fingers like this. Just kind of try to somewhat sculpt that jawline. Pushing these fine lines out of there. Kind of hooking under there. I mean, you look a little silly but it feels good. I hold so much tension in my jaw. Sunscreen, again, SkinCeuticals. This is SPF 50. I wear it every day. I also usually wear a tinted moisturizer with SPF in it, but I figure it's not bad to double up. And my skin scars so easily. Like I've had this spot on my chin for a few weeks and that will leave a red mark, which is so annoying. But I get this treatment at Sarah Chapman, it's called the Clear and Lift or the Clear Lift or something. It's a laser and it really helps with pigmentation like that. And like here too on my eye, I have like a broken capillary. And it's super annoying because makeup doesn't even cover it. Okay, so you bring that blood flow to the face and you just look more alive. You feel more alive too. I have been very into this. It's the Bare Minerals Lip Balm and it has retinol in it. Didn't know your lips could age, but you know what? It makes sense. <laughs> and I've really been enjoying it. Obviously, I'm gonna use my Mirror Water Body Oil called Smooth. Oh, it is so hydrating. And I love the stopper because it just comes out really gently. And I always just rub it between my hands, warm it up. Breathe it in. I mean, I'm actually in the forest right now, so this is very fitting. I just love the scent of like trees and woodsy stuff, but it's still like very sensual and sexy. Like there is nothing better than wearing this body oil like on a hot date. It's just so 
unexpected and so sexy and very grounding. So it can be many things, but I wear it every single day. And I always get compliments on how good I smell. I'm not just saying that, I really do. I'm take the time to massage the palms a bit. <sighs> mm. There we are. I'm gonna do my legs too. And then I'm gonna put my clothes on and then I'm gonna do my makeup. Just a very simple makeup. So hang on. Oh, it smells so good. Before I get fully dressed, I just wanna say I'm using this deodorant. It's by Fussy. I love the brand. So it's one of those like reusable ones. You can buy the inserts for it. It smells really good. I got the one that was like, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like earthy. Obviously that's what I'm into. So I just wanted to show you that. I really like it. And I also just love their branding. And I think it's really cool. And I like the shape of the deodorant. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. So, makeup time. I am really, really into this. This is the Trini London BFF cream. I just use the pump. I seriously swear by this stuff. I absolutely love it. It's like slightly tinted, but nothing major, which is what I typically go for on like a regular day. It's got SPF in it. And it just feels so nice on the skin. Like, even though this doesn't give you a lot of coverage, it makes you feel more put together somehow. I don't get it. I brought my RMS Uncover Up Concealer. And as I was telling you, I've got this spot here, so I'm just gonna try to cover that a bit. And then I'm gonna try to cover this little mark too. And I always put a little bit of concealer on like the outer corners of my eyes. Like I've said before, I kind of like the like tired look on the inside. Makes me feel authentic. Bronzer, bronzer. This Ilia bronzer, it's in the shade Drawn In. It's like the most perfect bronzing powder for me. It's like the most perfect shade. It's pretty light. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this and pretend I was in the sun. It really changes a person's face. And a little bit goes a long way with this powder, I find. I think eyebrows are like the most important part of a person's face. I love having my eyebrows done. I love doing my own eyebrows. I like the way it looks when your eyebrows are done nicely. I think it can completely transform a face. I know this lighting is poor. Let me try to go over here. Okay, so I always brush through my brows and now I'm gonna use my Blink Brow Bar pencil in the shade Indian Chocolate. I'm just gonna fill in any gaps. Take a look in this mirror here. I don't have like the most amazing natural brows. So using a pencil is like essential to my eyebrows. I don't do them perfectly by the way, I just do what I can. Brush it through. Okay, do the other one. And then I'm gonna go in with my Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. Just use a little bit of this. It's so funny, like even when I'm not seeing anyone, I just like to do a little bit of makeup. It makes me feel good. I don't really understand it, but I know it's true. I'm gonna take a little bit of the NARS Air Matte Blush. This is the shade Hushed. I'm just gonna take a little brush. Blush is another thing that's like, as I get older, I find I don't wanna skip it. <laughs> like it actually makes a massive difference to how I look and feel. I know I'm not old, but trust me when I say things change. All right, and then this is like my current favorite product of all time. It is the Armani Neo Nude Melting Color Balm for cheeks and eyes. It's the most unique texture. It's like not a liquid, not a cream, not a powder, but it's like everything combined. And it's in the shade 20. I love this on my eyes. It's like the perfect lid 
lived in brown color. And sometimes I don't even wear mascara, I just like leave it like this because it just, it looks so natural. I just, I love it so much. I also like to take a little on my lower lash line. And then like the quickest little application of the Glossier Lash Slick. Just like a tiny amount. So, little lady and I, right over there, <laughs> are going to Stratford-upon-Avon today. Stratford-upon-Avon. <laughs> Um, obviously I'm from Canada, so we have a Stratford, Ontario, which is all like Shakespeare themed, but this is like the actual Stratford where Shakespeare doth woof born. <laughs> ah, I'm losing it. Cabin fever. No, I'm not. Um, there act, you can actually go to like his birthplace. We're not doing that. I don't know where she went, but we're going on a little stroll, hopefully along the river which I thought would be really cute. And she just loves getting out, obviously, she's a dog. So just wanna give her a really beautiful Saturday. And so that means that mama, yes, cause I'm your mom, needs a good breakfast, so let's cook. I'm having eggs, bacon, carrot juice, cup of tea. That's it. <laughs> so let's do this thing. What do I need? I need Lady, 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 we're gonna make breakfast. We've got eggs. This is the carrot juice that I'm gonna be having. So this is from this amazing brand, London-based brand called Me Juicer. And I met the founder, you might have seen on my stories. His name is Joe. And he brought me this juice and this juice it's so good, you have no idea. It's like the texture of milk, but it's just carrots and ginger and stuff. So, I'm gonna have a glass of that. And, um, what am I doing? Eggs, bacon. Yeah, and then we're good to go. Sadly, I forgot my hot sauce. And I don't know if you know this, but I'm like a hot sauce addict. So this should be interesting. And there's no salt and pepper in this Airbnb. That's the strangest thing ever. There's no salt and no pepper, no olive oil. It drives me nuts when Airbnbs do that. It's like, I'm not gonna bring my own salt and pepper. Anyway, let's just have a glass of juice and calm down. Alrighty, we are gonna be scrambling the eggs. Got two eggs. Get them scrambled. I love scrambled eggs. That's like my favorite egg. God, this is a boring vlog. <laughs> but I was told that you wanted to see boring stuff and I shall provide. I shall provide. I also have some sourdough bread. Like, come on, am I prepared or what? There's like kind when I really feel like a grown up and it's when I pre-think and pre-buy food that I am going to enjoy later. A la sourdough bread. It's like, thank you past self for having the foresight to know that I like sourdough bread on a Saturday morning. Is it even a Saturday if you don't? Not in my mind. Let's get a big juicy one from the middle. Here's the toaster. And there we have it. Scrambled eggs, bacon, orange juice. Technically the color is orange, but it is carrot juice. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, here we go to Stratford-upon-Avon. Oh, <laughs> she's okay. Uh, so basically I filmed a little bit at the beginning of this vlog, but then I had to format my card so it didn't work. But anyway, I'm in my new electric car and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. The charging so far has been okay because I've managed to find like various places to charge and also it keeps its charge for a long time. I think I can get like 240 miles per full charge. So that's quite a long time. Um, 
if you don't know, I got the Mercedes EQA. And I, it, this car has like actually changed my life. Like, I love electric cars. They're fast. They run so smoothly. They're quiet. Like, it's quiet. It's dead quiet. Um, I love the fact that I don't have to pay the congestion charge in London. It's just honestly the best thing ever. And I like this car because it's a bit higher up than like my Golf was. So it's just more vibey, honestly. It's just more vibey. Like when I pull up to places, I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I just feel like I've had an upgrade. It's definitely like a mom mobile. It's like me and Effie, mom mobile vibes, but I'm into it. I am Effie's mom, so why try to hide it, you know? Me and Effie, we like to go places. The situation is, I don't wanna wake up Effie, is that I went to Stratford yesterday, but I forgot my camera, and um, we went for a walk. It was really, really cute. Regardless, it's the next morning, and I am up early. I don't wanna wake her up because then she's gonna to wanna to go for a walk and I don't wanna go for a walk right now because I am watching Love is Blind with a cup of tea. And I just wanna enjoy this moment. I am obsessed with this show. It's time to go and Effie's hiding under the table because she doesn't wanna go. You don't wanna go, darling. Hey, you don't want to, <laughs> but we must. It's pouring rain, so we're just gonna go for a quick little walk around the church, and then we're gonna hit the road. This is amazing. I just love all of these gravestones, and it's just so peaceful. I know I always say this about cemeteries, but I just love them. So does Effie. All right, that's it from me. I'm gonna head back to the car and then drive home. It's like two and a half hours. And I'll see you next time. Bye.